Hello there ladies and gents and welcome back to another fantastically festive weekly reset video for Destiny 2. How's about that then? It is indeed very close to Christmas. Are you excited? I am. Anyway, this weekly reset is running from the 19th of December through to the 26th. The dawning is upon us. Look at this. The snow in the tower. All the milestones have been reset. You know this about now. We've got Clan XP, Leviathan Raid, Night Force. We've got our Flashpoint on Titan for this Christmas week. Uh, Call to Arms, all that kind of stuff. It's been reset. We've got some new stuff, a gift to collect, as well as speaking to Tess. We're going to go and have a good perusal um, in Tess's store in just a moment. But I think first we should probably have uh, a look at which Nightfall that we've got before I forget, because I will. I'm currently visiting my folks in the UK at the moment, so uh, I'm on a foreign setup. This is not my kind of, uh, my, my normal stuff. So uh, here we go, we've got the Nightfall is the arms dealer, we've got Torrent, Boundless Power erupts from within, your abilities recharge much faster, that's, that's, I like that one, that's one of my favourites. Time Warp, Zero Hour, the mission timer, timer cannot be extended, choose your battles carefully. And we've got, of course, the normal modes at 270 power and prestige at 330 if you're feeling a bit fancy. Alrighty, shall we sashay on over to Tess and see what she's peddling for us this week? Hello. Oh, we've got a gift. Gift of shaders. So we've got some shaders. That's nice. We've got a vast array of new stock here from Tess. We've got winter harvest chest vest thing. Holiday cheer, a sparrow. Should we have a look? Mmm, I don't like that one. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at this chess piece. That is particularly swanky. Might be too fancy for me. There's Breath of Stars, a blue ship. It's very blue. We've got Dulcinea Shell. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but I'm going to give that a twirl. That's very pretty. And we've got Ice Capade, an emote that... Uh, that, that's good. That's written for me, definitely. Silver Dawning Lanterns. Add the Silver Dawning Lantern effect to your transmat jobbies. That's very nice. And Winter Shaders Pack for Bright Dust. Let's have a preview of what's in store. Hunter Armour is very fancy indeed. Oh, you shouldn't have. Look at that. And it explodes into snowflakes. That's very fancy indeed. How about the excited dance? How exciting is it? On a scale of one... I'd say just over 9,000. How's about that then? And then we've got Honest Dance. Is it genuine? Yeah, that's that's my kind of dance. I would root for that one, I think. And then Ice Capade, which is on sale this week. You can buy this for special dust. Slipping about the place. There we go. On the arse. Lovely jubbly. And then there's a variety of ghosts. I'm particularly interested in this Winter Lotus Shell because look at this perk. Uh, increased loot from public events on all destinations. You, can, you can't say no to that. And then we've got Ships and Sparrows up next. History of Starlight, an exotic ship. We've seen this kind of design before, but there is a bit of a TIE Fighter style cockpit to that one to make it a little bit different. And then we've got Cerulean Flash. We've seen this one in a lot of the promos and teasers that we've had for the dawning over the last few weeks. We knew that was coming, but that does look quite fancy. And then there's a variety of different takes, different dawning style takes on some of the ships that we've seen so far in Curse of Osiris, as well as Sparrows. We've got some uh, Chill of Winter, Exotic Sparrow, very Taken King themed, very reminiscent of that kind of style, as well as Holiday Cheer. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like it, that gets a thumbs down. Anyway, who cares? Shimmering Iris, all this stuff, this is just basic uh, variations on a lot of the sparrows that we've already seen. There's a fair, there's a fair lot of stuff because it's Eververse. There you go. Um, and then we've got shaders and mods now. We do have some new shaders from the dawn. We've got Dawling Brilliance. This does, this does good things to guns, I think. Yes. Very odd kind of colour scheme there. What, what 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 the hey we're being festive and then there's dawning hope golden black with some camo and textures on the gun there arctic style camo very nice indeed and dawning warmth hmm <laughs> don't know what to make of that but anyway there we go i think and then there's the finally the, there's dawning festiveness how festive is it it's blue it's very blue indeed 
crispy blue. And the, all of these we've seen with Kerzbos iris there. There's a very clear indication of what's the dawning with a little snowflake in the top left. And then the jade countenance weapon ornament for the fighting lion. This is green and red. It's very oriental. I do like it. And then we've got this fantastic ornament for the risk runner, Summer Storm. That's that's top quality. I really like that. And then, ooh, Forest Ranger hunt, Hunter ornaments here. This is for the Orpheus rig. I do believe these ornaments are different for each of the character classes. So if you're signing in as a Warlock, you're going to see a different one. I believe that is the ornament for the Karnstein armlets. I couldn't tell you which it is for Titans. Let's have a look at the Forest Ranger. This is for Orpheus rig. This is pretty decent. I like that. Very nice. And then we've got a Ghost Orchid Shell which is actually a very good design in my opinion, yes. We should probably head on over to Ikora because she's got some notifications alive for us. Pick up today's gift. It's a schematic and it is here. So we have defeat Vex Hobgoblins to collect their metal for melting down and collect data lattice for from Nessus for exo related modifications. 30 Hobgoblins must be defeated and 10 data lattice collected. That is the schematic Banshee there. There is different ones, I do believe. That's not the only schematic that is available. And uh, let's go and see what Ikora has for us as well. This is the season of the dawning. A holiday created from a thousand traditions brought together to rejoice in the light. And this dawning, with the traveler shining above us? We have so much more to celebrate. But, as Cade would remind me, this is also a time for gifts and games. You get the chance to uh, super everything in sight. Anyway, and here we are at the farm. Look, there's snow at the farm. There's a little bit. It looks too warm for snow, doesn't it? That's going to melt, that is. Let's go and have a look. Is it, is it at the football pitch? Oh yes, here it is. There's clumps of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Can I pick up, make a snowball? Oh, look at that. There we go. He's cold. I love the way that you jump up. That's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Anyway, that's that's picking up snows. Chill to the bone, seven, frostbite. There we go. And I'm covered in snow. Excellent. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with me today. Have yourselves a fantastic Christmas. I'll be back later on after the Christmas holidays, after various adventures. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. So, uh, yeah, and Happy New Year, obviously, as well. In the meantime, though, folks, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And remember, Steamers are Pudding. We'll be back after Christmas.